I thought Manchester United started off incredibly Looked well. Fantastic. And I thought, I could only see one scoreline, 4 5 nil. Yep. I, thought, I thought the tie was over, going to yep. be over. Yeah. But again, just not seeing out games, giving... A, a team an inch and they obviously kick the door wide open they're going to get two goals and I guess your only saving grace is that Seville at home are poor like they're one of the worst teams in La Liga when it comes to home form so I guess that will give you confidence but that tie could have been over by half time it by should have been we had chances um, we scored I can't remember who scored early on he so was offside called, oh, no, Jay Sancho, Sancho Sancho really took it well actually um, so this goals were really good as well I thought we looked great M- maybe there's an element of if, unless you need to make a substitution I get it's a long season mm. but you know when you're making three on on the sort of half hour on the hour mark Ericsson for Bruno and Langer for Sancho and Vout for Martial you sort of think you are weakening that side you don't really need to do that the, the, I mean the Martial one okay he's had injuries so maybe potentially I understand that way, he played great brilliant he, he was great. I thought he was fantastic um, the Sancho one I get it because he, he ran out of gas mm. anyone who was watching the game last night certainly people who I know were there and you could see it through the TV like he'd worked incredibly hard and he just ran out of gas so I get it he had to make the changes so a lot of people kind of throwing a bit of um, a bit of criticism at Eric Ten Hag but I I, I just criticised Manchester United at the end because two up I was watching again the highlights this morning on an 81 minutes I think uh, you had the chance with Malesia where yeah. he should have squared it to Elango he taps in the empty net game over yeah. that was an 81 minutes and then to again see you, you guys capitulate and I know two goals are really unfortunate but they, they were Let, let's, let's no, remind no, ourselves no, no, of that they were but you've got to do better defensively yeah, oh, Malaysia 100% of fault well, I don't know just, why get, just, just smash just it just hit it when in doubt get it out yeah. right? it's that obvious um, you, I know joking I'm guessing jokingly I'm asking the question now jokingly on WhatsApp last night and also today we're in our meeting you were slamming David De Gea but you're joking about that yeah I mean he could probably do better if he reacted could, a bit quicker oh but, come know, on it's one of them and it's reacted. no 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 come on the first one comes off Malaysia so it's going it's going back into the box it hits Malaysia and goes into the goal it's he, De Gea yeah probably his fault he, no it hits Malaysia and then it goes in no it hits De Gea and goes in it hits Malaysia yeah, and, and then goes he, towards yeah, and it yeah. hits De Gea and then goes in yeah nothing can do that and the Harry Maguire right. one do you know what and I was saying before, like, I, you, sometimes you go through stages in your career. Why are you right? laughing when you're talking about United? No, I'm talking about myself. Oh, right. There's times when you go through your career, right, and you things are just not going well for you. And you know when something like that happens, you just, you just go, yeah. well, like, what have I done to deserve this? Because, I mean, it's a great header. It's an unbelievable header. Is it a great header? From, oh. Maguire, from Maguire. Right off the meat, right into the corner. Great header. Oh, I see you're being facetious. I thought you meant... <laughs> no. I, thought, I thought you meant... The... Hey, great, great enough. But it's one of them... I, I do worry about you defensively now because Varane and Martinez, as a partnership, have been so good. Maguire so and good. Lindelof, you're like... Oh. Yeah. And that'll be the FA Cup semi-final, probably. Exactly. And second leg I'm, of this. And right now, Maguire just got no confidence. There was even a time, right, he got away with one. Do you remember? Someone rolled in the ball and he kind of let it run across his body between two players. Mm. And... For whatever reason, they didn't tackle him. Because mm. they tackled him, they're in again. But do, do you think he has to go at the end of the season? Do you think he will go? Yeah, I think he will do. What have you made of his time at United? Not been great, has it? Do you know what it is? That doesn't help him. Yeah. And to be fair, I, I, I said second in the meeting, I thought I'm probably a bit, a bit harsh here when I spoke about him being probably the worst, for value for money, the worst signing in Premier League history, right? But when you look at some of the other players that have gone for a lot of money, and I, I think I've said it on this show before, Transfers over 75 million, over 70 million, tend to not work out very yeah, well. That's an unbelievable point you make. Like Lukaku didn't work. Yeah, the San- only two, the Sancho only th- hasn't yet. Hasn't worked. Kai uh, Havertz, Anthony hasn't yet. Kai Havertz Cal- not worked. Ha- no. The only two. Pogba off- hasn't. Nope. The only two off the top of my head <coughs> me, that point. have worked and been really good are Van Dijk and Allison. <coughs> Excuse me. The- um, Pepe seventy two million. Awful. Yeah, isn't that bizarre? Only only Allison and Van Dijk have been the best. Are they the only two? Only two that you'd go. Yeah. What about sorry? <coughs> Excuse me. What about J- Jack Grealish? Yeah. Now he's starting to, but at first people were like, "Oh, is he?" So even he and Enzo Fernandez look at the state of Chelsea at the minute, but it's early for him. Yeah, Mudrick. Ant- Anthony Mudrick. It's, it's I don't know what it is, but I just feel for, for Harry Maguire. I, I genuinely believe that I think he's a good defender, but maybe the expectation at Manchester United, and rightly so, because looking at the centre half you've had, <coughs> excuse me, Vidic's and the Ferdinands and these yeah, guys, yeah. Wes Browns. Um, I just think potentially that he needs a fresh start. And I think a lot of teams, I think 80% of the, the Premier League are taking. Do you? Keep yeah. talking while I have this glass of water. Why do you keep coughing like that? What's wrong I with you? I don't know. Something's, I've not eaten anything recently. Go on, carry on. But I just think, yeah, for him, they need, they, he probably needs a fresh start as well. But I still think he could beat Seville at a place, but without the injuries, it's, it's the other games. Yeah, 2-0's two, two done and dusted. 2-2, two, two, and it's like... It's, now it's 0-0. Yeah. It's, uh, but as I said, you're, you're saving grace. Seville at home have been awful. Yeah. They're not great at home. Do you expect United to go through? Yes, I do. You do? Okay. 
Talk Sport Drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.